All right, a quick recap on ES today. Overall, some pretty straightforward action. One of the scenarios we had mentioned into the close yesterday as well as this morning was the fact that there was a high probability of an inside day today. That means that the pretty much the entirety of today's price action trades within the prior day range. This is not uncommon whenever you have a big outsized move, a big trend day like we saw yesterday on the index. Generally speaking, after that big expansion move, price needs some breather. And that usually comes in the form of an inside day. Volatility contracts and expands. Anytime you have those big expansion moves, again, you wanna be looking for the contraction. One area where traders get in a lot of trouble is they see that big trend day like we had yesterday and they come into today's session thinking that it's going to be another trend day higher. And that was one of the warnings I had kind of mentioned this morning in the live stream was, you know, you want to keep your expectations in line, not necessarily expecting to see that continuation play for today. Now, one of the items that I highlighted this morning was that Fibonacci retracement level looking at yesterday's Here's yesterday's session right through here. Here's today's session. So looking at Monday's trend day, if you if you put a fib on that actual trend day, we we're looking at a gap down this morning. Generally speaking, it's not unusual to see that trend day retrace 50%, sometimes even 61%. So I'd mentioned this morning, we want to see how price reacts versus that 47.75, 47.70 area. 47.75 was the higher time frame structural level of interest. That's a level we've been watching for the past few weeks. And then that 47.70 level is that 50% Fibonacci retracement. That pretty much marked the low for the session. If you take a look here, a bit of consolidation off of the open. Again, there's the five minute chart and price just proceeds higher. You have a pullback to VWAP, regular trading hours VWAP right through there. We test the 47.90. 47.88 area kind of right through here. Again, that is a FIB reference point from the prior day session. But the main target for this move, of course, is the 4,800. So testing that 4,800, big psychological level, big level of interest, little blip higher, likely some liquidity being grabbed up here. No follow through expected on a blip above prior day high like that. And now just pretty much chop into the close. So where does that take us for tomorrow's action well we do have an inside day we have an inside bar on that daily chart looking at the daily time frame es chart here essentially remember price broke that 52 week high on december 13th push higher bit of a pullback mark a higher low right through there make some fresh 52 week highs no real significance of these fresh highs, but essentially price first week of the year last week pulls back retest that prior 52 week high this blue zone right through here. You have the doji on Friday marking the end, the potential end of that selling trend day yesterday as that near term downtrend, like I talked about yesterday and, and days prior, this near term downtrend comes to an end. So you have the trend day now today. You have that inside bar. So generally speaking, when you have that inside bar, you want to just be going with the direction that the inside bar breaks in. Now, the bigger picture setup here is definitely bullish. So I'll primarily be focused on some continuation up through that 4,800 level to potentially test the 4,820 and 4,840, the recent highs. This is kind of the first target the first daily time frame target after this prior breakout point retest now there is potential of course for prior day low to break down and you get a retest of the 4720 i'm leaning more towards the bullish scenario here looking for that strength up above the 4800 so the setup is pretty straightforward this is a daily one two three you have a big igniting bar you have an inside bar that resting bar generally speaking you know, probability favors another buy bar right through here, right? So we'll see how it develops. No crystal ball or anything like that. Just working with probabilities here, just working with what the current structure shows us. 
Taking it one day at a time, one trade at a time. That is ES. Let's have a quick look at NQ. So just as a recap, 4,800 main watch on NQ tomorrow. Now on, or excuse me, on ES tomorrow. On NQ, a little bit different setup here. NQ did show some decent follow through up through that prior day high, right? Kind of trying to hold on to this rising 21 MA right through here. We do have this level right here, the 16,800. So I'll likely keep that as the main watch for tomorrow as well. We can see the structural importance of this level. If I flip onto the 30 minute chart, prior support right through here, right? Bit of resistance through there, kind of some chop through there. Uh, broke down right through here. You get the retest shortly after that. And then yesterday's high, now this afternoon, attempting to hold as support. So we'll see how this shakes out for tomorrow's session. Again, keep it simple, 16,800 main level of interest there on NQ for tomorrow. Pretty much up into just looking at the profile here, we do have that big volume void right through here, right? So if, if price can break, essentially today's high it does push into that volume void you want to be looking at 16 970 area basically 17k it's going to be your big psychological level and you do have that massive volume void right through there as well so that's a one atr move nq atr is 200 points so it's doable within one day right atr is actually 222 so a little more than 200 points. So 16,800 main watch for tomorrow. Again, just looking very similarly to ES, just looking for that buying to continue here. Hope everyone had a great day as far as individual names. Scans were dry. Scans were dry. So nothing in the list, nothing in the scans for individual names. Just going to be primarily an index focused day. We'll see what kind of setups we have in individual names. If there's any fresh news in the pre-market prep live stream. Other than that, ESNQ, SPY, and QQQ. Hope everyone had a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the pre-market prep live stream. Take care.